Welcome back to the Student Starcraft AI Tournament Random Replay section and we have got today something very very special if you haven't seen the earlier episode let me tell you about what you're about to see we had after the 2014 tournament started a programmer who said well let me join the fray his name is TSC Moo he wrote the Terran bot and a <laughs> only a few weeks later that same Terran bot is dominating the ladder and that is no small feat because some of the other bots have been in development for almost four or five years. I've always said, well, we need more Zerg, and uh, Zerg is a bit of a problem. A lot of Zerg we have got on our um, tournament stream now, playing random matches, are four and five crew bots. And although we have got Killer Bot by Marion D. Becker, which does an impressive, impressive thing with Hydras and Lurkers, it is a little bit old, it crashes a lot, and it is not really up with big bad Terrans like Icebot, Crazy Bot, and now TSC Moo Terran. I say TSC Moo Terran because um, two weeks ago TSC Moo informed me that he had been working on a Zerg bot, and I was really, 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 really happy with that because TSC Moo has proven to be a very good programmer and now he's done a Zerg bot, it is something to watch out for. Now, um, about Zerg, again, it is a little bit, um, it can be a little bit difficult to program a Zerg bot, but um, it's not too hard. One of the main issues you have is that you've got to place buildings on creep. So, um, Terran can build anywhere on the map, Protoss needs a pylon, Zerg needs creep. So in that respect, Zerg and Protoss are equivalent, um, only for the building placement. They have a constricted area in which you can, can build. And Zerg also has to micro or to macro with, with larvae. So if you want to build units, you need larvae, which spawn from a hatchery. You haven't got the inject mechanic you've got in StarCraft 2. So at maximum, each hatchery has only got three larvae. Um, if you want to, to build an army quickly, you need a lot of hatcheries. That said, if you surmount these two obstacles, you have got a very, very high potential for uh, fun, because Zerg is highly adaptive. If you've got a couple of hatcheries and you've got the tech, you can build units everywhere, and by Terran and Proto standards, if you've got a factory in your main base, you cannot build a tank, say, at the other side of the map. But if you are a Zerg and you were to build a hatchery here, had all your tech in the main base, you could build the most incredible stuff here on the other side of the map. So, that's very good. You can uh, switch very quickly. And then it will all come down to the micro. Uh, that said, some of you might not be as familiar with TSC Moo Terran as well. Mm. Let me tell you a little bit what I know. It has got two strategies. It can either do a marine thing or a uh, mech play, and its mech play is very, very good. Its marine play is, well, I'd say not as good, it is more aggressive. And if you are very aggressive and persistent, you can oftentimes knock out your opponent without having to wait for a 200-200 army. So, that said, I think this is the version which does mech play, because we are seeing a very quick factory and the barracks isn't blinking anymore. We've got two marines out, just the bare minimum to kill the stray zergling popping in. And we will see something out of this pretty quickly, I think. Then, oh, <laughs> look, we are going for the, for the double double hatchery, one on each side. Um, I hope the drones will not mess up too much because of that, but um, as they can pass between here and here they will do just fine, and an expansion for Zerg. So, um, if you were to consider this from a pro game perspective, it is all pretty normal. Zerg goes for a quick expand, Terran goes for a floating... it's not going air, surely? Oh. Let's watch it. But uh, we've got a floating command, a uh, floating factory, and we've got a starport in constr under construction. So 
let's see what that's going to turn into. Um, the Marines kill the first Zerg in first blood is Fortius Samu. Oh no, he's killed two already. And now it is. Perhaps this might be a barracks play after all. I don't know. A quick wraith. I haven't seen it do this yet. This will be highly entertaining. Uh, as you can see, I have blocked out the replay progress with a plugin. Oh, look at that. It's one vulture and it's killing one. One, uh, s one drone, and it should be able to out micro. Oh no, it's stuck against the wall. And if it's stuck against the wall, it's stuck micro, then it gets out. Four kills already. Oh, this is very impressive. Um, yeah, and the Hydra should be able to clean it up. Kill, kill, kill. But five kills, among which a couple of drone kills, is very good in the beginning. Uh, that said, I think the initiative lies now with the Terran, because four Marines which seem to be intended for home defense and where's the wraith? wraith, wraith, wraith we got a wraith out, ha ha but have we no, no control tower so no cloak and we had some at least one hydra so zerg should be okay with two hydras versus one wraith and one wraith doesn't do a, does a lot of air damage actually so perhaps it could kill a couple of overlords but here comes the first hydra and will it kill? no, no, it should have stuck with this one and now it's one Hydra versus one... Why is it killing the fool? I don't know. Okay, so two kills for Mr. Hydra. Uh, second command center nearly up for Tiasimu Terran. And Tiasimu Zerg is about to uh, do what? We've got a lair and a Hydra den, no other tech, and going almost pure drone. So it's droning up pretty heavily, all the while Terran is going more aggressively for some vultures. Yeah, and here we go, we've got some more factories, we've got another wraith coming up. So also, not only has TSC been working on a, a Terran bot, or a Zerg bot, he's also been updating his Terran, because I haven't seen this wraith play from him either. As you know, we have got a um, web stream, you can find it on our website. Okay, let me keep that here. Uh, Twin Starcraft AI Tournament.com. That is our website. You can check it out. Uh, we've got a live stream running on there with all the bots which have participated in the 2014 tournament playing random matches against each other. And now we've got a little bit of aggression coming up, but this is not something you would like to. Okay, so this vulture is dead. This mine is oh, and one link, one zergin catches two mines, which is very good. And this overlord is kept. Meanwhile, another expansion for a zerg, and Terran is scouting a little, saturating his bases, and building vultures and goliaths. Okay, that's a cool thing, and this overlord is. Cat food. Bye bye. Good. So, what? Look at. Oh, two kills. Where are all the drones? Have they been evacuated? They can't have all been killed yet. No, they have been evacuated. Oh, that is very good. Kills on a. And the Zerglings <laughs> converging on the, the source of this um, poor wraith. And this wraith is going down to a Hydra. Okay, so a lot of mining time lost. That is good. Um, let me see if I can get the... Uh, no, 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 that isn't good. Okay, just keep it on the website, you can find the Facebook group on there as well. But, we've got some vultures doing damage to zerglings, but these hydras have got some kills between them. Probably all mines, but hey, what do you know? Let's see, first armor upgrade coming up. We've got Hydra Speed coming up, and we have got another Hatchery. So that's quite impressive. Uh, we've got a couple of seconds here, so although these Hydras do get killed... And all the drones... Oh, pull them back, pull them back! No, don't get links and drones! Don't do it! Don't, please! Oh, God! Oh, God! That is quite unfortunate, but these two 
15 meters are coming in to clear up these vultures. All the while, the starport gets lifted, so no more air aggression in the short future. And we're going, we're going pure mech. That is good to see because mech is very, very effective against Zerg. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I blocked the replay progress. This is the first time I'm watching this replay myself, so I know what's coming out. I am uh, observing at the same time as I'm casting, and that can a bit be a bit of a problem because. Um, while a human player can only concentrate his attention in one location, a Zerg or a, uh, an artificial intelligent player <laughs> has no problem at all of working in a 100 screens at the same time. As long as it's got enough CPU and memory power, it can do anything it wants. It can execute up to uh, thousands of actions per minute. It is crazy to see. And you will see later because if this were Terran, uh, a human player. These units might have been microed in groups, but you might not realize this, but all these units are microed individually. It is crazy. So if you've got, if you need 10 APM for each unit, this little clump of units is easily a couple of hundred APM already, which is crazy. Good. Okay, so, ah, no, they, they chase it out. It would be really helpful if we had a couple of sunkens look an early hive. There's a couple of sunkens here as well because all these vultures are roaming around the map. That is going to be a threat for any drone. And this one sneaks through. Uh, look at it. One, two. Uh, no. Doesn't seem to understand what is going on here. That is a pity. I don't know if there's a drone in here, but I don't know. Zerg is expanding all over the map. Terran is expanding to the left corner. Zerg at the bottom. And you can see now from the minimap, um, which I'll darken for a little while, what is going on. Um, every time you see a unit moving, it has its own instruction set. So these Hydras are moving. I don't know what this para the, their parameters are, if they've got to keep a certain distance from each other or from the enemy or if they are actually moving in groups, I don't know. I can't look at the code, I can only look at the game and try and interpret what is... Ah! Uh, boom! Boom! Yeah. Okay, cheap kills. This mine gets taken out. All the while, Zerg is macroing like a... like a monster. I think there are... We've got... Oh, we've got queens. Oh, this is so brilliant. Uh, we saw this previous game as well. So we had a lot of queens and... Um, they were highly effective. I've seen one with five kills due to grouping. And these Hydras are doing a number on the SCVs. There are some Goliaths coming, but not as quickly as you'd like them to. And all these SCVs, look at that. Two, five, four, two, zero. Okay, we can safely assume that a lot of units have been killed. And this Valkyrie is a little bit stupid because you shouldn't be in there with a bunch of hydras if you can't shoot down, period. Okay, too bad. Well, perhaps that will get updated in some uh, new release of the Terran bot. So, a queen, um, and this is where it will get hairy because we've got action going on here. We've got three hydras killing SUVs. We have got attacker. We've got something here. This uh, vulture oh got three has got four kills and I do believe they were the drones. So we've got action going on here, we've got some here, we've got a siege tank which doesn't really get it, but this Hydra should not belong to this world. And this harass has finally been cleared. Good. We've got some more nope. I don't know what they are doing. Uh, let's look at the main. So we've got uh, we've got a bit of tech, we've got some extra hatcheries and in the natural we've got a hive. Hello hive. And we've got some here, we've got something here. And we've got a Valkyrie checking everything out, two kills. Which um, seeing the state of the game we haven't s oh it could be mutants as well. But that's a good score for a Valkyrie, two kills. Um, at least 200 minerals got. Oh, and we've got a broodling, and the two broodlings die to mines. This queen has a kill rate of one, and will now take another 
I don't know, five minutes to charge up and you have enough energy to go again. That said, although the hive is at the natrium, all the tech seems to be located in the main base. And uh, I don't know. I do think the saturation of these drones is a little, little lower than you'd like it to be. And while the Zerg units are keeping a decent tab on Terran, they are not really doing as much damage as you would like them to do because these tanks are on 2 1 already. And of course, the same goes for the Goliaths. And this is going to a 3 base Terran. It's now on 125 supply, and Zerg is now on 110. So that might turn to be into a little bit of a problem. And pardon the uh, erratic observing, but uh, as I said earlier, although human players can only focus their attention on one spot, um, Bart can focus his attention on 20 or 100 spots. And 10 kills on a siege tank, that is insane. That is insane, 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 insane. 13 kills. See, it's always sieging, unsieging. Do I see a unit? Do I not see a unit? Oh, I've got units in range again, so I must siege again. No, it's out of range again, so I must unsiege. So this cycle of instructions is happening for every unit. For every single unit, and now it, uh, this tank finally gets killed. Zerg is moving in. Let's see, uh, 130 supply versus 140. Terran is staying in there pretty well. And building another bit of wall. I, <laughs> I do so hope it won't wall itself in. Uh, bots are known to do that. And look at that, they scan. And this is a very high saturation. Very good. And look at all the overlords hovering over this lone action hatchery. It is crazy. Double upgrades going on double upgrades going on here. We've got a defiler mount with the consume upgrade. Okay, this will be this will be absolutely amazing. All the while we've got some pressure on this base, but seeing the amount of Terran forces uh, dealing with it, I'd be very surprised if we got anything much done. The Utilist is... oh no, it got away. It got... yeah, up until there. So now we've got a bunch of skirmishes all over the map. Uh, these drones are under attack. They are trying to reach this base or this base. I don't know, but there is a distinct Terran presence here with the siege tanks. Oh yeah, 80 damage. Hello. Um, TSC New Terran is covering the map in turrets and tanks and mines. So that is always something that's pretty hard to deal with as a Zerg. Even if as a Zerg you get two-thirds of the map uh, worth in expansions. So, um, earlier I casted a game of TSC New Zerg versus Icebot and one versus Craziobot, both of which are very siege tank heavy and TSC New Terran is a huge... Oh, I'm not approving. How that is the second one? Oh, great. TSC New Terran is very, very heavy on the uh, vultures usually, and now it seems to be going for a lot of Goliaths, which are pretty good, almost at 3-3. That is splendid, 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 and look at that. That is the Defiler Energy Upgrade. Have we got some Defilers yet? Um, I've always said, well, the StarCraft 2 system, yeah, here we go, and we have got a, a swarm up already. Starcraft 2 system of observing you can, I believe, uh, focus on a particular kind of unit. But, like here, we've got action going on over, all over the map, over the entire length of the front. And it seems Zerg is going to be shifted out of these two bases. But, where is the defiler? The defiler is here. Um, it's very hard to keep an eye on things. But the Terran army is pushing the Zerg army back. And in the supply they are very, very equal. So let's see how this is going to uh, get on. Uh, yep, mines, tanks, and turrets. 
backed up by vultures and the light. And Terran is now at 53 without being scored. Um, let's assume nothing critical is going to happen here in the next couple of minutes, or we can just pause it because it is a replay. Let's have a look at. Yep, ooh, we got air weapons coming up. Isn't that nice? Not all that many um, air units up out yet, but doing nothing. We got a Valkyrie, and this science vessel. No, no, no science facility. We haven't got any uh, physics labs yet, so that is a problem. But look at this. This is. It is crazy, and this is happening all over the map. It's just. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! It's it's consuming everything and plaguing. Oh golly, a plague! Uh, we saw that earlier as well. I didn't want to spoil uh, spoil the results of the other matches. I cast the TSC reserve where once these defilers get hungry and need, they think, well, I need to cast spells. They will consume any and everything that's in their way. Yeah, there went Rome. Um, I wouldn't be <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they caught a couple of uh, mutas as well. Okay, so we've got two. Uh, let's keep an eye on those. All the while, the battle rages on here between the static Terran and um, the mobile Zerg. Okay, so I've got a tap on the on this defiler, and if its energy drops, I'll try and switch to uh, wherever it's doing whatever. All the while. Uh, Zerg is losing a high amount of units. It's really, really something. It's really losing a lot, and that is not good because you need to, you'd want to build up things. And it's now at a 120 supply. Where are you, my dear? You are here. And Terran is at 104. So even though Zerg, oh, another plague on the Valkyrie. Goodbye, Valkyries. Yeah, you don't want to go in there. Although Zerg is uh, fighting a losing battle versus tanks, eight kills. Good morning. Tanks being repaired. The lights with three free upgrades and vultures with their mines and turrets. Uh, they are keeping the Terran numbers down sufficiently so that they are only at 100 supply. This base is going good. This base is mined out. So Terran essentially is on a mineral only and uh, one corner base. Which is now being attacked by two hybrids, and even for these um, for these AI players, they um, are constantly balancing. Uh, well, what unit have I got the same square? So they can do things in 100 locations at once, but uh, you'll find that they will only send units to uh, one or two or three places. And boom, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> oh, sorry, vultures. They won't send uh, 100 units to a hundred. 100 places. So this siege has been going on. Uh, no, this Goliath is too much, but perhaps for these two, 32 kills. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Siege Tank. Have you been having a nice day? Yes, you have. And there goes the first expansion for Zerg. Okay, all the while <laughs> in the mid. All the drones. Oh, no, 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 no. G look, that is not good. These defilers, when they get hungry, they consume everything. There is a track of consumed drones here. And uh, that is just very curious. <laughs> Look at it! Terran decides just, oh well, what do you know, we've got all these mutas, let's build some free turrets here and see what is going on. Um, yeah. Let's have a small gamble of that. Um, my boss is messaging me. No, that is that is not everything. Okay, so we can get back to the game. It is a bit of a holiday, so I'm doing some work for the student AI tournament. And while I'm doing some casts, some people are messaging me and say, "Well, you've got to look at it now." But I say, "Well, forget about it. Let's not do it." Uh, so back to the action. It is now a three-three um, mech army versus a two-two air army, <laughs> and we've got another. Oh, look at it! <laughs> oh, it costs consume about five times for each unit. It's crazy. Look at that! It's only eating one drone, and it's it's a veritable tornado of no drone. Keep out of the way! Keep out of the way! 
Look at that. It is 150 uh, supply for Zerg versus 100 for Terran. And Terran is trying to take a new base, which is good. And it would really, really help if Zerg build some, uh, some defensive structures because they would do so well versus the uh, couple of vultures and SCPs and whatnot. Pass through here. And this Hydra. Look at that. This, this Valkyrie can just hover over here. What is this? This is a Zergling with uh, one kill. So Terran is doing pretty well on its um, maxed upgrades, and Zerg is. What a cluster fuck of a game this is to cast. There are Goliaths and Eucalysts everywhere, 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 and Hydras, and stuff is happening here and there and here and there, and this is just crazy. Two Hydras are killing of an entire base worth of SCVs it looks like, it looks like, aided by a muter, which then gets chased off by a Valkyrie, which I just saw here, they are drones, and more drones, oh no, 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 look at the muter count, this is almost like the old Overmind, which used to build 50 muters and micro them individually. A couple of years ago we thought that was ludicrous because of all the APM happening, but now it's just commonplace. It's every unit micro individually and <laughs> they get plagued, but they you need a it needs a little tap on the tail. And there it goes. So we've got a very expensive army for Zerg and Zerg is getting near max. Terran is look at this, look at this war. Look at this, there are turrets everywhere, and if you attack turrets with, with drones, you are going to lose massive amounts of money, but that doesn't seem to matter, because these two muters have cleared up this base. They have got 9 kills, 13 kills between them, so that might just be the SCP population. There's nothing mining here, and the last bit of mining is going on here, but this is under attack as well. Look at all the muters, and they are maxed as well, 3-3 three, three muters, and... Oh, they got plagued by mistake, I don't know why. And this looks to be the end of Terra because there's only 9 supply left and 71 minerals. All the while Zerg is maxed, it's banking money, and now it's going in for the very last kill. And Trey, no, feels to me got forced to GG after it's only on left 1 supply. And that is crazy. So what we've just seen here is the TSC move Terran, which has been dominating the um, crazy about ELO ladder for a couple of weeks. <laughs> it got ripped apart by TSC move Zerg, which TSC move said to me is not even finished yet. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that in a finished form. And I'm also looking forward to see what the other programmers are going to do in response to it. But you can't, you cannot have uh, a new guy come up with a Terran bot and a Zerg bot and just dominate you on Zerg and on Terran. That, that wouldn't do. Um, yeah, so this was another um, demo. These are two bots which have been um, published after the 2014 Student StarCraft AI tournament. And the Terran bot is on our uh, website's stream, sscaitournament.com and the Zerg one will be placed there. I have it on good information in a couple of days when it is finished and even more powerful than it is now. I hope you've enjoyed the cast. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.